this is the Adol calculator, or maybe Adol calculator, from around 1907. It was something of use, not a toy. I've seen it spelled with a doll with one L, but that name never seems to have made it on the device itself. And I'm not quite sure what year that, that was. Maybe it was a very early model year. Um, some sources say it was also spelled add all with two D's and two L's, but that seems to have come from Ernst Martin, and he also got the date wrong. It sold for 10 shillings, six pence in 1907, but five years later could be found even cheaper. The name a doll comes from the first two initials of its inventors, Armand Dreyfus and Alfred Levy. Although calling them inventors is probably incorrect, the original inventor of this type of device was a gentleman named Jevrem Ugrich. He made a similar, a bunch of similar devices, but he never patented them. The only patent he had was from a Pascaline type device from before he changed his name. If you want to know as much as can be known about these devices, check out William Dentz's website and articles. I'll leave a link in the description. There was also the RSB Universal, also known as the Adal 2. It used the same large disc as the Adal, but its relationship between its maker, Rudolf Shade, and Adal is still rather unknown. Again, check out Dense's website for the details. The Adal is very light, made from stamped tin, and it has a very simple carry. As the user turned the disc to add the desired number, the spiral moved the little indicator up the stationary arm to the various hundreds places. You didn't have to move the machine in reverse to clear it. That would get rather tedious. You could just pull up a little bit on that tab and slide it over and that went just fine. Subtraction was not accomplished by moving it in reverse. Instead you'd take the uh, big number on the middle ring if I want to go 25 minus 10, I move it to the 10, and then 15 shows up as the answer. So this works great, but under Britain's LSD currency, the doll started to flounder a bit. So every doll came with this little table, which could convert shillings to pence. So if a user wanted to add 12 shillings, 7 pence to 13 shillings, 6 pence, first he would consult the chart. 12 shillings, 7 pence converted to 151 pence. So he would add that first. Adding a number larger than 100 on the adal means that you have some choices to make. Next, he would look up 13 shillings, 6 pence, to find 162 pence. So he, now he adds that, or she. So we get a grand total of 313 pence. But since people didn't walk around with 313 pennies in their pocket, we have to consult the chart again. So 313 pence is equal to 26 shillings and one pence. That's not the best total either because 26 shillings is quite a bit for someone to carry in their pocket. 
The real answer is more like one pound, six shillings, one pence, which is not on the table. The Adal seems kind of pigeonholed into a currency it wasn't really designed for. The British calculator was an adding machine specifically designed for the LSD system, and it can handle this problem no problem. So we're going to add 12, 7 to 13, 6. And there's our answer. One pound, six shilling, one pence. Of course, the, the British calculator weighed a lot more and cost six to eight times what the Adal cost. So maybe they're just going for different markets. At the end of the day, the Adal doesn't seem too helpful. It's large size meant it wasn't very portable. Plus, who'd want to refer to a table all the time merely just to add some currency. So I'll leave you with some puzzling last words of wisdom from a doll's user manual in poem form. Be not the last by whom the new is tried, nor yet the first to cast the old aside.